Welcome to a review for honestscrapes.co.uk. Now, Honest Scrapes is a community both online and offline that is made up of some real wine enthusiasts and professionals who have all come together to try to deliver you some really interesting and unique wines from around the world. So we're going to carry on the journey of reviewing some of their wines for you and today we're taking a look at the Foxglove 2016 Cabernet Sauvignon by Paso Robles. So this particular wine is bottled by Varna, um, that's San Miguel in California. So a nice Californian red we're looking forward to trying here. Um, its alcohol content is 14.5% um, and uh, it's got, we're expecting some real uh, dark fruit flavours from this. Uh, that's what we're told to look for in our tasting. It will pair very nicely with barbecue meats, um, red meats, steak, that kind of thing, I think. So that's going to be um, worth looking out for any kind of food pairings you want to go with these wines as well. That's obviously going to enhance the whole tasting experience. And the ideal serving temperature for this wine is 16 to 18 degrees C. Okay, let's go in for a tasting. Okay, let's start off with some of the aromas from this wine and see what we can detect. Right, straight away, uh, that's a very rich blackberry aromas coming through there. A little hint of uh, raspberries as well there, something really quite fruity about that. That's a lovely, um, deep, rich aroma. Okay, let's go in for a taste test and see if we can uh, pick up any of these flavours that they've suggested that we should find. Wow. Well, certainly that blackberryness really does carry through into the flavours there. That's quite a lingering bit of heat coming off that wine, actually. Extremely dry, and that really lingers for a good five, six, seven seconds there as you get those really deep fruit flavours coming through. There's a slight peppery note about that as well at the end. That's really quite intriguing. I can see that would go extremely well with steak. That's a lovely wine. I think we'll have one more taste there just to see if there's anything else we can pick up. Yeah, so it's just it's, it's very strong on the blackberries. Um, but that, that dryness really does offset, it, offset that particular wine quite nicely. Well, the whole tasting thing is, of course, extremely subjective, and uh, we suggest the best thing is for you to actually have a go yourselves. So uh, check them out. It's honestgrapes.co.uk. We're going to carry on our journey with um, another bottle in a week or so's time. Thank you for joining us.